It's TMNT time and it's time for boxes way too big for my background once more. Hello and welcome to another figure here. Today we're going to have a look at the NECA SDCC 2018 exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figures. <sighs> wow, that was a mouthful. So yeah, um, I got these after a long time of uh, problems. I had problems. I pre-ordered them by uh, from some dude on eBay because that's the only way to get them. <coughs> I'm a little bit salty about that. I'm gonna be honest. NECA talked about that they uh, might get turtles into retail, and uh, it's about time, all right? Because it, it it just gets it's getting ridiculous. I've gotten every exclusive so far from the last couple of years, but but these these are just uh, the the prices. Okay, so anyway, there's the box. It has the nice uh, classic logo. And we got a couple of pictures. You also have a classic NECA logo up here, which I think is cool. Uh, pictures of the figures and uh, some words by famous people who got these sent home. No disrespect to all these guys, they deserve it, but uh, you know, I also have a big collection, but I guess I'm not hot shit. So, anyway. I'm gonna try to desalt for a second and I'll come back and I'll do the review, alright? Alright, my channel, my opinion, my views. If you wanna be offended by it, good. That means I have power over you. <laughs> Alright, but no more beating around the bush, no more saltiness, whatever. Uh, review time! Serious business! The Necker Turtles, again, in the movie form, now in the smaller form, as Ralph goes down. I'm gonna start off by just having a look at Leo. I have the other ones back in here later. But, uh, I mean, body-wise, they're basically the same. First and foremost, want to have a look at the size. They're actually bigger than I expected. 17 centimeters, a little shy of 7 inches tall. And, uh, yes, this is the smaller scale movie version of the Turtles. It's basically the same, same look and everything. And there's nothing wrong with that, because the giant ones, uh, they look fantastic. They look absolutely perfect. So... What we got over here, very realistic looking face, I mean it's basically taken out of the movie. We now have a plastic bandana, plastic mask going around uh, instead of the real cloth one which we had in the giant figures. Which uh, adds a lot of shading, really dark shading. And we still have the spots and the molded detail in the face. I mean you see the texturing on the skin. Do you see that? Yeah of course you see that. Have a good look at that, you have tiny, tiny spots in the forehead, the small eyes, and uh, uh, the amount of detail is just as, it's NECA level. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it NECA level now. Have a highly detailed shell as well, with them sort holsters. And uh, the, the whole material, again, going back to the, the giant ones, they were very, very sturdy plastic. These guys are a little bit more soft. And uh, I like that because they're like amphibians and they look soft-ish, you know, it, it feels more like skin to me. And then you have the painted and molded detail in the armbands over here, the wristbands, the elbow pads. The belt is going down with the two straps, classic for Leonardo and the entire shell. It goes from the yellow over into dark with still some very dark shading in it. And overall, I mean, he's shock full of shading. You have the spots all throughout the body. The muscle work is fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just... You see it. I don't have to tell you much more about it. I mean, um, I gave you the detailed look at the skin tones and everything. I guess that does that. Just want to give you a quick one-by-one -one look at every turtle. The facial expressions is really what makes the difference here. We got Raph with the, uh... What's wrong with his eyes? What's what's wrong with this eye? Oh boy. Don't tell me. Yeah, we're having quality control issues again, just like last year. Uh, it's okay with Leo. But, uh, yeah. As an exclusive, okay, we have the scar over there. Paint job is very nicely done. You also got a lot more spots. And the beak. It looks like his beak is brighter. I didn't really. Oh, Leonardo also kind of has that. Not as noticeable though, you got the white teeth in there and uh, the different belt has some scratches in it. Also the shell has a lot more scratches because he's rough and uh, I like that because he's a lot more, you know, the, the battle guy. He's, he's cool but rude and uh, that's why he also has a scar in the face. 
And uh, still, the muscle work, everything about the body is basically the same, except for the spots, I guess. Let me actually compare that real quick. Spots on the body. And, uh, oh, he has... He has the weird muscle work over here. So that's, that's actually different. Okay, that's that's respectable. He has the vein in the forearm, but he doesn't have it on his bicep. Hmm. So there's some differences here. Wow, how am I gonna... How am I gonna do this review? How am I gonna have a look at all of this? But, uh, as the rest for the body... Seems almost the same. No, he has a vein in the leg. Oh, Leo has one too. Okay, so we're good on that. So the leg part is the same. Arms can be different. And of course the face sculpts. And Raph has the, uh... The battle damage shell. Now over to Donnie. He also has that weird muscle going on. I think his belt is hanging a little bit too high up. Personal preference. Well, I, it was really high up in the movie, but this this is really a stretch. But as far as the body goes, does he have a vein in the bicep? No, he doesn't have a vein. He has a vein in the forearm. The face sculpt. The eyes are good. Thank goodness. He has the beak. That's not a... A lot of people complain about that, even like in the in the giant figures, but uh, no, this is really this is really a face he does, and uh, it, it makes sense. He's kind of stretching out the beak a little bit to make like a bit of a frowny face or whatnot. But yeah, rest of the figure detail, chock full of it, clean shell, and uh, just the nice expression. And finally, Mikey. Mikey's the only one who does look a little bit different, I think. Compared to the giant version, he was the one that stuck out a little bit. I don't know, his, uh, I think his eyes were a bit weird. So they fixed that. I, I say they fixed that. I, I'm just personally thinking this guy looks uh, looks a bit better in the face than, than the movie version has. Tons of spots. And uh, the big eyes, which are clean. No shifty eyes, thank you. Only, only, well, only one out of four has a quality control issue on an exclusive. And I will hammer that home because it's an exclusive. I already did that with like the last last year's exclusive. I had the shifty eyes on a lot of them. So now with the muscle work, he has the the straight one. He has the, the same arms as Leo then. With the, uh, the vein going down in the bicep and the one in the forearm. But still tons of shading. And uh, that, that, okay, I, with all the, the bad things, I also got to point out that I'm really impressed by how clean this, these tiny rings are painted with a nice metallic in there, uh, except for this one. I don't, I don't know what this is. There's a couple of spots too many. Okay. Uh, a little bit of battle damage detail in the belt. And uh, it overall looks good. Now for the articulation, I'm just gonna have Mikey in here because there's nothing that changes. The bandana is just packed in so you can rotate that one all the way around. You get a different bandana, uh, but we'll get to that once we get to the accessories. The, ta the hat tilts side to side very nicely, goes forward a lot and back. Uh, not so much, but still okay. Goes all the way around and then the upper torso area. It does wiggle around in the shell so you can bring that back and forth, side to side, and just, you know, wiggle it around. Now for the shoulder articulation, you got a hinge down there, goes up almost 45 degrees, and you can of course rotate it around. We got a hinge in the elbow, actually double hinged, I believe, with the floaty shoulder pad over it, and it also rotates around. Kind of makes up for the lack of a bicep swivel, but that's okay, I like that. And we got the hand rotating around and goes back and forth on a hinge and uh, contrary to the to the giant turtles this piece down here the wrist is connected to the forearm and is not floaty then we go down the belt actually I just want to notice just want to show you that you can move them around but I think I think they're glued on at the middle of the belt because I can't really move it around over there so can pull it up overall but it's still stuck at the middle over here which I don't really get why you do that then we got the legs have them big ball hinges over there it goes up again almost 45 degrees we really just a tiny bit shy the shell is soft plastic by the way although it's a little bit harder down here let's see what we get out of the legs so it goes forward and it does go to the back it always just rotates at an angle though, I believe. Can't really, I can't really straighten the lag out. I can't get it forward. 
so that's a bit of a problem. Then we got double hinge knees. Let me be gentle with that, try not to break it. Uh, yeah, knee pad is also floaty, it is soft, very nice material. Then we got the foot, which is on a very nice ankle rocker, goes side to side, and forward and back. A lot. And there you go, there you have it. So here we got all the accessories. Oh, the accessories, I don't know what just happened there. Leo Sword, there it is again. Um, swords, Leo Swords has a nice metallic paint job with some black shading on it. Makes it look dirty, makes it look gritty. Simple brown handles with uh, still the screws, some detail in there. The little spots. Looks good. A little bendable, soft edge plastic, won't break too easily. Then we got Raft's size, same thing, brown handles, but nicely detailed, all the mold detail that's in it is really fantastic. And still with the black on the silver. Then we got nunchucks, we just have rope, which is accurate to the movie, just had rope in the movie. And uh, they're like double, I don't know why they're double, why well, there's two ropes, but uh... It still looks good, even though I would have preferred just having one roll, but regardless. It's nice brown, has some spots in it, and we got Donnie's bow staff, has the black lines in there. For the rest of it, it is, it's a bow staff, it's a stick. We have another pizza bag, pizza box from Domino's, which they are not allowed to use, so they're uh, just calling it Tidal Game Pizza? Yeah, okay. Special offer, eat more pizza. It's, it's the same as they did with uh, with the baby turtles, but it's a lot smaller. So that's cool. Free delivery and whatnot. And we got some pizza pieces. It's also dirty in there. Really looks like you're transporting pizza around with uh, oils and stuff. Uh, we got the ooze canister TCRI with the big hole in it. Radioactive material. It's very, very shiny. I love it because dumb people like shiny things, but yeah. Looks cool. Uh, there's some more pizza pieces, same as the uh, the ones before. Very nicely done with some olives and whatnot. All that stuff. They are small, but they're nice. You have the different bandanas uh, going a little bit more crazy, I'm guessing. More like battle poses. Same thing, they're nicely painted, nicely shaded. And then the hands, you got two open hands. Just like chop hands or whatever, high hands. Hello, sir. You only get one set, though. So if you want to have these on all your turtles, you can't. Unless you buy four packs. Wow, okay. That's... I hope you don't. I'm not saying these are bad, but just saying that it's going to cost you a lot. And I hope you don't hog four packs for yourself while other people in the world need those. Open hands. These, these things. Uh, pointy fingers. And I uh, have, might have a little bit of a grip. It's not completely pointy finger. I can see you slide a pizza in there. Let me try that out, actually. That no, still kind of works, yeah. Uh, these are completely soft, by the way. Soft plastic hands. So getting the pizza and the weapons in it, it will not be a problem. And finally, you got thumbs up hands. Very nicely molded with the fingernails and uh, obviously the molded detail in the skin skin texturing and uh yeah or thumbs down <gasps> okay that's it so one more time final thoughts of these figures even though i started it off very negatively <sighs> i can't i can't say anything but yes yes i do recommend these guys those guys are amazing these figures are even better than the giant ones i i mean i prefer the size anyway but uh yeah everything from the detail from the, the different muscle work from turtle to turtle uh, the paint job, the facial expressions, the materials, and uh, everything. Everything is just in place, everything looks nice. And uh, I've seen so many people on Twitter that use these guys and I'm like, is this a picture from the movie or is it just an action figure? And it's true, it is true. If you if you put this in the right lighting and everything, have a nice background and whatnot, uh, you wouldn't even notice that these are just action figures. So. That's a, a huge credit goes to NECA for that, but, but, of course, they're exclusive. So I'm saying, as they are, they are perfect, and if you can find them for 100 bucks or something at a store, uh, immediate buy, like a must buy. If you don't buy it, you're an idiot. 
But uh, yeah, even if we're going up to 200, I would still pay 200 for that. But uh, uh, just you know, I paid a lot more than that. Let me just say that, and that's why I was salty, and I'm still kind of salty. And I'm really, really, really hoping, Neca, that you're getting these guys into retail, and uh, we can we can move on, and I don't have to buy exclusive for uh, a, a, just in stupid, stupid payments on eBay. I know it has rights and stuff, but I don't know. I've seen so many other companies that just put their stuff out. Uh, like um, the He-Man, that, that, that one He-Man that was supposed to be SCC exclusive, but everyone was like, oh, we want that, and then Super 7 was like, alright, we're gonna do it. So, you know, it is just, just, just a tiny little tidbit from the stuff. If NECA is really, just, if this is really the reason if NECA couldn't deliver these guys, if they weren't exclusive, then fine, alright, they're trying their hardest, but if not, damn them, okay? I, I'm just saying, like, whatever. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors, so I'm not gonna decide on that. But whatever happens, happens, and I hope they do more, and I do recommend these guys, and I'm way off topic right now, so I'm gonna end this review. These figures are fantastic, it's TMNT time, and I love it! And I want to see more in retail, please. There you go. That's going to do it. As usual, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles want. Cowabunga!